Hello guys. So today I'm going to give you a small tour of my studio. Um, I asked on Instagram if this was something people were interested in and a lot of you said yes. So personally I really enjoy watching other people's studio tours just because to be honest sometimes I find it quite hard to organize my space and it's just a great way to get ideas. And yeah, sometimes I'm just curious. So two things to bear in mind before I show you everything. Uh, one, it is a little bit messy because I'm, I'm, yeah, see, like I can't even formulate a, a sentence. So you get what I mean. And second, it is very much a work in progress. Okay, so I'll show you the studio now and in a few months time, I'll do an update because I'm planning on improving quite a bit. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so here's a small overview of when you walk in. I'm gonna start with this side. So these are, I actually need to stand back for you to see. These are some really big shelves. Um, these shelves actually were left by the previous resident of this flat. So that was really, really lucky. So up here I have lots of fabric samples and lots of little bits. My granddad made this guy and I think he's super cute. Um, this is Chez, he's my cheese plant. He really needs a new pot soon so that's why he looks a bit sad. Um, I've got a little plant propagating here. So here I've got my collection of picture books and concept art books. This, fun fact, this was my first camera ever. Um, my dad got it for me when I was about five. And, wait, let me open it. So as you can see, it's a Polaroid camera, but um, the Taz Monster, I think that's his name, Taz Monster version. Anyway, I love it so much and I've had it forever. And honestly, you can sell them for quite a bit of money on eBay, but I would never, never, ever, ever get rid of it. And next to it, I've got a modern Polaroid. <laughs> so here I've got some more plants that I'm attempting to propagate. And here, this is my vast collection of sketchbooks. Um, there are some more over there and some more here and these are all filled in by the way I made this one <laughs> uh, and I made this one here just fun fact yeah I made this as well I made that painting I made these uh, wooden dolls with my boyfriend as well and down here to be honest this isn't the most organized shelf but um, here we go this is a zine I made a couple of years ago. Um, I can show it to you at another stage. This is a really cute ceramic flower um, that stands up and you can put it in like um, a flower vase. And sadly, my cat just broke it the other day. So it's, it's, it's here to be glued, but I don't have any glue at the minute. So here I have lots of different inks and a few postcard seconds for some reason and i've ordered a few more of these crates to help me make sense of some other things i can't place so this shelf will be mostly crates with art materials and some products here i have my coloring pencils um some art materials and pots in these jars i have diluted ink and here i just store some paper that doesn't fit anywhere else and this is a light box I made with a friend and that's a sewing machine. And here I have some rolls of paper and a step ladder because these shelves are so large. I'll actually show you in a second. I'll stand up next to them so you can see. So here I've got some gouache paintings I've made recently and down here my most recent edition and I've seen that Apple Cheeks here on YouTube also has this beautiful rug. Um, yeah, it is from Ikea and I'll leave the link for it down below in, in case you want to get it as well. Um, it's so gorgeous, I love it. Um, next up, and I'll just go through quickly, in these shelves I just store different art materials that don't fit anywhere else and like cameras and that sort of thing. Right here I've just got several little things, yoga mat. Here we have my computer desk 
and this is a riso print I did of a character I designed called Muffy. Um, she's based on my sister. Here I've got some pens and some things like that and a plant I got for Christmas, my computer. I also made this sticker and it's in my shop in case you're interested. Some chocolate I've just been snacking on, don't tell anyone. Um, this is my printer. It's, norm it's normally put away, but I'm using it at the moment, so it's just here. Um, this is my drawing desk. It's also where I'd package orders and things like that. Um, and by the way, I got this desk for free from a neighbor. Um, I got that mirror for free. I got the shelves for free. <laughs> I got this desk chair secondhand. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff I have um, has just been passed on to me, which is cool. Oh, this is also this was also for free from a neighbor. And I'm not proud to say this, but I've been using these amazing books as support to prompt up my drawing table, my drawing board, um, because my back has just been hurting, guys. This desk chair, if anyone is interested, is the Generation Chair by No. And here in these drawers from Ikea, I keep most of my papers. Um, and some art materials and also I use them for when I'm painting I will put my palette and my water and my paints here and it's just really easy to go like toot, 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 um, if you know what I mean same for this thing um, it's just great to keep stuff that you don't want to spill all over your desk in so I hope you enjoyed having a look at my studio and please excuse the mess. <laughs> um, I forgot to say this doesn't live here, obviously. I just move it here for when I'm painting because it's really useful. Um, but it usually goes, whoop, usually goes over there. Doop, doop. Can I have the camera here? Yeah, you have. You just come here. Okay, <laughs> Hello guys! So today is Sunday and I've actually done a few improvements on my workspace throughout the week. Um, this is very unexpected but since I gave you a studio tour I thought I would show you these things too. So firstly I brought this chair into the studio. This is actually a chair that me and Nick found by a bin so it was being thrown away and I'll find a picture of what it looked like initially for you to see. Um, but Nick rest restored all of the wood and then we got the cushions reupholstered in one of our favorite fabrics. We already had it at home, but we just moved it here so that Beamy can enjoy it. And then we actually got these drawers on an auction um, and they're super cool because firstly, they're very sturdy, then they have these really shallow shelves, so they're going to be really, really perfect to organize prints and stickers and things like that. So today I'm going to clean them and then move some of my products onto them and label the little things. Bing! Hello, gorgeous.